I started work here in 1981, so I have been here 39 years. I actually started with the beginning of the Legacy LCAC Hovercraft uh, Award. So this has been a tremendous career arc in that I've been able to watch the original LCAC go through its design, construction, and then transition to a full rate of production, and then transition through other programs, and then work through the proposal effort to see the startup of the second generation hovercraft for the uh, U.S. Navy. There's been a lot of lessons learned, a lot of improvements, and a lot of growing pains, but we've made it. It's been a long time coming. A lot of things have changed between LCAC, current LCAC and the SSC. Um, even from 100 and 101, a lot of things have changed. So as those changes um, get put into play, the LCACs get better and more reliable, and we can get them and fly them better. The Ship to Shore Connector provides a very uh, unique method of transporting equipment from sea to land, and it's one of the only products that I know of that's capable of doing that. Uh, in any amphibious operation, or really any operation that's sustained, uh, you have to have the logistic support uh, to take care of the, the soldiers, the Marines, uh, the Navy that are on the beach. And so it's really all about logistics, and, I, and the way I think of it is our, our mission is we own the last mile. Uh, it's our job to ensure that, that the supplies that are needed to support amphibious landing are there, and they're there on time. I, I was in the Navy before I, before I came to Textron. I flew the hovercrafts, the LCACs, to the Navy. I saw the importance of them there, and that they, we need to keep that importance. And the LCACs are getting old. They're 30, 40 years old. It's time for a new boat. I think the proudest thing that I am of uh, SSC right now is getting uh, these two crafts out. Uh, it's been a long and uh, perilous journey with both of these crafts testing them. I'm proud that we were able to develop a team of people to design, build, and test uh, a craft of this complexity. Uh, it's the hardest thing that I've ever worked on in my career, and I'm proud that we were able to develop a team to successfully deliver this craft to the Navy. The machine is great in a thousand ways. It's the most incredible thing that I've ever worked on. What's more incredible are the people that have worked on it. That's what's gotten us here. That's what's gotten us the success that we've had. I, I'm notoriously saying that's my boat, that's my boat. So I'm sad because I'm losing it, but glad that it's moving on to more testing from the government and moving on to bigger and better things. It's just gonna improve the program. The more testing it gets, the more it's gonna improve. My way was uh, just like any other time that I've seen the, the craft come up on cushion. Uh, it, it, it gives me goosebumps every single time. Um, you know, the craft just have such an intimidating presence. They're they're powerful. Uh, they're loud. They're large. They're 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 just cool, right? So it was uh, a reminder that at Textron Systems we build cool stuff, um, and uh, I'm proud to be part of that. So watching the craft leave uh, to go to Panama City was uh, a, a sense of accomplishment. Uh, definitely felt great that we were able to you know, get the first two craft completed and tested and, and sent to, to the customer. And also uh, just grateful to be a part of uh, you know, a project like this to, to support our troops. We were excited all day. Uh, so we tracked them all the way to Panama City and at about four o'clock I got note word that uh, they were down in uh, Panama City at the shipyard and uh, all mission capable, uh, everyone safe and product delivered. Uh, it was incredible. Uh, the day of the flyaway was incredible. I'm, I'm sure that it's cliche to say it feels like your kids going out into the world, but when you spend eight years bringing something from the ground up, uh, fighting through the design, fighting through the build, and fighting through the test, it seemed like every kind of adversity happened to us in those processes. It, it's incredible to actually watch the operating units go out into the field to, to their home where they're gonna continue the mission. I was, I had mixed emotions. So at, at first I was kind of relieved. There was a lot of pressure to uh, internally to, to get these craft delivered, um, as well as our customer needed the craft. So there was a lot of pressure from the Navy as well. So I was relieved that we were finally able to uh, successfully deliver these craft. That day of the boats leaving was a relief from everybody out here. 
Um, that was my first time seeing something of that magnitude being done. Um, so I think it was it was divine seeing something like that. Everybody come together um, for one cause. Just kind of everybody getting their differences out the way and just being focused on one agenda. Um, so that was cool to see. It was great uh, watching the or being on the craft when the when the both boats flew away for the transit to Panama City. I was on LCAC 100. It was a it was a great morning for that. Both boats came up on cushion with no problem. They backed down the ramp uh, easily, and then they flew to Panama City in tandem. They have really flew to Panama City flawlessly. We've got to Pensacola, and we had to fuel up right there. Then we went on from Pensacola to Panama City. It was quite exhilarating. Uh, it was great coming up the ramp. There was another huge crowd in Panama City watching us come up the ramp. I was very proud of the boats that day and very proud to be on the program. So my role on, on the flight was to monitor c 4 n make sure nothing went wrong, and luckily nothing went wrong. So it was a pretty easy flight for me. Uh, when we went on flight, it, it felt great. It was uh, pretty fulfilling to see it actually be delivered to, delivered to the Navy. It's a lot of hard work that went into that, and it, it's good to see it finally come to fruition. For the flyaway, I, I drove over to Pensacola and took my boat out so I could witness the boat come in from out of the Gulf drive into the uh, uh, Navy base at Pensacola, refuel both boats, and then return and fly out. So it was uh, unlike watching it disappear into the horizon, I was sitting on the other end watching it come over the horizon. Coming into Pensacola, it, it, it was a tremendous sense of pride. Uh, the After going through all the, 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 the tests and trials here, seeing the boat come in, it was very professionally operated, very purposefully flew into the base, got its fuel, came out, everything was like just, there was no hesitation, no dilly-dallying around. It just looked like a very professional operation to watch it. It really kind of, it was tremendous to see this thing, not doing little test and trials in the lake, but coming across the open gulf, going into a Navy base and leaving. That was another tremendous feeling. I am very, very proud of my test team. We have a good mix of, of experienced personnel who have been here just about as long as me, as, as well as uh, some new guys, uh, electricians, uh, technicians. Uh, I'm very proud of the team. They put in the time and to work the overtime, nights, weekends, to meet our commitments, both for, from a quality point of view, schedule point of view. Uh, to get that boat to whatever the next test is, to get it to trials, to you know meet schedule uh, 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 constraints. I'm very proud of my team, and they, they put in the effort to get there. Uh, I'm most proud of uh, all the hard work put in by uh, tests and everybody getting the boat uh, kind of groomed and ready. Uh, a lot of long hours uh, to get the boats out into Panama City. So next up, uh, it's all about supporting the customer as they take delivery of these craft. Um, we get to stand shoulder to shoulder with them as they fly these for the very first time. Um, so we get to hear some of their feedback. Uh, we get to take some of that feedback back here to the shipyard uh, and then incorporate that into the craft so that we make the product even better. Um, so you know, standing side by side with them is what, what I'm looking forward to next. The work that we do here is critical to the fleet, to the Marine Corps, to the Navy. And, uh, you know, I think as, the, as this paradigm shifts and it's no longer design and development, it's more about the production line, uh, just, you know, working the craft down the line, getting them out to test, the test team completing the process and flying them away to Panama City. Uh, I think that's really what I'm looking forward to is, is just seeing more ship to shore connectors uh, leave the ramp here and, and head to Panama City uh, with the Navy crew embarked.